In GeoGebra, I'm going to click Start Calculator. I want to right click to show axes. No, I do not want to show the axes. And if you have a grid, you want to right click for show grid so it says no grid. We're going to come over to the geometry tools here in the middle icon. And what we're going to do is to make any angle. So I'm going to use point. I'm going to create three points because three points define an angle. And I am going to do a ray that goes from B to A and a ray from B to C. And I like to hide the label. So I go show hide label. And I'm going to hide those labels. Now, this is the angle that I'm going to use for my isosceles triangle. And what I need is the length on each of these rays to be the same. So I'm just going to draw a circle. And the center of my circle will be B. And then I'm going to bring it out here. And so I'm going to go ahead. And it could be any length of the circle. All right, so I'm going to find, I'm going to make new points. And the points I want is where the circle hits the rays. So those are the same distance from point B. And then I just need to get a line segment from A to F and a line segment from B to F and from B to E. And then I'm going to start hiding things. So I go to this show hide. I'm going to hide the ray and I'm going to hide the circle. And I'm going to hide this point because I don't need it. And then I don't want these labels on the sides. So I'm going to hide those and I have an equilateral, no, I have an isosceles, not equilateral triangle, isosceles. Let's test that. So I'm going to measure my angle, E, B, F, and it has an exterior angle of 303. So 303 minus 360 is 57. So this is actually, I'm going to do undo and then do text. 57 degrees. So that's that one. We already know it is not equilateral because in an equilateral triangle, all the angles add up to 360. Okay, and then we're going to do angle B, E, F, and it says 61.5. I'm going to measure this one, angle B, F, E, and that's an exterior angle. So I'm going to do 360 minus 298.5. I get 61.5 also undo. So this is 61.5. Click on advanced. Go to the symbols. I can add a degree. Okay. Move tool. Move this in here. And I'm going to hide this A and C point also. And there I, whoops, what happened to my 61.5 text? Let's try that again. 61.5 with a degree symbol. Okay. Move, put that in there. I'm all set. I have an isosceles triangle.